I'm passionate about this because there are so many students getting brainwashed. We, we all the time get to deal with this high school students and the college students saying, please help me. I'm being taught this. I don't believe it. I don't want to be taught this. And so we are regularly having to try to help people defend the, the, their faith and show them no evolution isn't true. You can believe God and His Word. That is the truth. It's sometimes difficult to know what attitude to take, isn't it? Whether, yeah. it's, whether it's to be angry about it, whether it's to be amused that these people still have the same ideas, the same yeah. old chestnuts over and over again. I mean, for example, I, I, began, I became a school teacher in, uh, in um, public schools in Britain for British viewers. It wasn't public schools according to British definition, <laughs> state schools, okay? Um, uh, ordinary comprehensive schools. And it, that was in 1983. And the, the man teaching biology in the next door laboratory uh, was explaining to me his curriculum and it included telling people about uh, ev evolution's true because of Heckel's embryos. Wow. 83, of course that's been uh, that found fraudulent a long while. A long it? time ago. Well in the 1950s definitely yes. found to be fraudulent but the whole idea of, uh, of Heckel's embryos is he, Darwin needed evidence that his theory was true. So a guy named Ernst Haeckel says, well, hey, I'll, I'll make some for you, basically. And he, he didn't say that to Darwin, but he makes some evidence. He took the, a dog embryo yes. at four weeks and a human embryo at four weeks and drew them, the, the, the uh, images that he drew yes. looked exactly the same. Yes. So here he's giving illustrations saying, see, look, they look exactly the same. They're going through the, the dog and the human are going through the evolutionary stages in the, in the womb. Well, it's interesting, but it's not true. And if you see photos of those embryos, yeah. they're not they don't at all look like each other, do they? No, they look completely different. And you mentioned this, how should we react to this? Should we laugh that they're still teaching something that's so outdated or should we get angry at it? You and I know when we meet people and share this information with them and they finally are seeing the truth that they've never seen yes. before, they're mad, aren't they? I, I think I'm coming down more on the angry side at the moment. They're going, I can't believe somebody would lie to me like that. I can't believe I've always believed a lie and I hadn't had the truth. That's mm. exactly what they're really thinking. And of course, people might say, Paul, you're very old. You're talking about the 1980s. Well, oh. I, I've got a textbook, um, a biology textbook from Britain from the year 2001, and it's yeah. still got Heckel's embryos Today. in. Today and, in absolutely. school. And it's still got peppered moths in it. Mm -hmm.